Monty's firepower if they're going to win this game today because Metisport have been grinding. Monty are no strangers to grinds, Harry. They were the team who played the most maps last year. They talked about the exhaustion of being that team that not only are competing at the top events in the world, but are also grinding out, you know, the ESL challenger level events, playing leagues. So they've got the experience. Metisport, yeah. though, they have the young talent. What will win today? Let's find out. It's a bit of a slow burning pistol, but this one looking to explode out through middle once they lob this molly and they want to try and fight this player up in uh, construction. Ooh. And they will get given that fight. Sundar Young gives it away. Lean and him both fall early. It's a convincing look in the pistol here. As Monty has sent packing, just two players surviving out of the gate. And I got to say, you know, when I saw the, the BO coming down the pipeline, it does make me a little nervous for Monty. Why is that? Vertigo, obviously, fair enough. It's a map that's great for Metasport. It's not Monty's go-to. Yeah, well, so Mir else? Mirage is the second. That's also a map that we see Metasport play a hell of a lot. I mean, hell, they've played it twice today already. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I, I think they're going to be, at least have a good deal of depth and comfortability there on that map, right? It's not one of these ones where I look at it and I think of the edge to Metasport here on Vertigo is... Oh, are you really? Oh, my God. The jump knife? Oh, ZTR. Oh, I wish he just... I wish he committed. So maybe they look for ways in elsewhere. Maybe it's towards mid, lean and some die young. Looking like they want to apply a bit of pressure, but we do have a man holding it early. Nilo lies in wait. Back boost. Less common here. It's you know, you jump up on the stairs, but also just trying to give a different angle. So he doesn't get pre-fired. B's empty, and he'll use that boost to send his team up the stairs. At this point, positionally about to win this round, but this oh, opening kill could have been massive for Monty. They'll still trade it, but they need to get those guns quick and scramble because Metisport are on default and bringing the bomb. They're not all going to be here. So Monty right now actually doing the, the scales tipped in their favor, but it oh. could run out quickly because there's a flank coming in late through mid. Like Adam wants to take matters into his own hands here as he's uh, moving up through the back line. And no one is even considering oh. this. That could have been everything. Instead, it's just a one and done. A kill from okay. Sundar Young. That's going to propel Monty in for this, but Chiquinho still dancing around on the default boxes, wow. lines them up. And he'll finish it off with a hat trick as Mezpor starts. He's just lurking out mid on his own, kind of holding for that aggression. Instead, they completely leave mid empty. See, no reason to change the pace for Metisport. No rushes called. Sure, they have some attempts at going for opening kills, some damage early on B, but absolutely fine to delay and retake ramp after the smokes. Lean Academy Prospect, Solo B, and low health while he does it. Don't make his life easy. Waro re-engages on the ramp, but they're about to entry here. He needs to kill and to get away. Yet to frag on Waro. The M4 spraying first, but there's the molly from ladder that causes a lot of problems. Nice grenade down ramp. Yeah, it this looks like they want to fight for it. This is a much better early setup for Monty, right? They actually kind of have the resources here to, to, to vie for this ramp control, to give it a bit of a look in. They fall back slightly more passive now. And actually, they largely up and leave, eh? I thought that was re on gap, but yeah, he's just rotated out. They have fully lent over towards B in middle. Oh, God, it was looking really good. <laughs> But this big lull in the action has given them a bit of paranoia. They're now worried about this bomb heading back. I mean, 30 seconds and they are grouped five people side by side in the middle of ramp. This is a contact into the site. Now the util starts to rain in and Waro is calling for support. Yeah, but is he going to get it? I think he's got to just fly solo here. Does Waro 2k? Smokes it down, so he's going to hit Waro, every mate. shot and they bait it out of him. Nilo with the trade. Sunday Young, there's the reply. And with 10 seconds left, they're scrambling to get this bomb down. Monty tried to deny it, but they're making moves that aren't going anywhere. Wow. And ZTR will respond with two kills of his own. Bomb now planted. This one's flipped on its head in a 2v4. Now bought even into 2v2. It's left to ZTR to try and finish the job.
Playing around the short smoke, ready for the man up top, but Samdai Young will oh. find him, and so Monty can at least breathe easy that that 4v2 doesn't spiral out of control and yeah. go the other way. It's just as simple as this for me. Yeah. Do I think big are better than Spirit? No, not really, but wouldn't it be so big for them to win that game? I bet they've been grinding the demos all night on anti-donk. And that's the thing. You know what big will do if they win? They'll win versus Spirit. And then they'll lose. And then they'll lose yeah. the next game. That would be yeah. very big of them, wouldn't it? That's basically the mindset I'm in. Is no, I, like, I think Spirit are the better team, but I think Big are very, very good at performing in those sorts of games where they're underdogs and they can do their research and they can try figure it out. Yeah. And they pull off a win like that. They also have been showing a good vertigo and we saw Elevate yes. cause problems for Spirit on that map. Right now, Metis poor having a field day, but they are a man down. Can they... Plus, you know, damn, you yeah. think you can beat Searson online? I got news for you. Yeah, true. Here we are. Tusk up towards the top oh. of the ramp and lead gets decapitated. This one is quickly going the way of the dodo for Monty. Chicken or the egg? Ouch. Just every, I feel like every time you peek a long angle, you're peeking two people. You're peeking three people. That is poor. Are like chained to each other right now. All right, Waro. Very, very quiet first half here. If there ever was a time, it's now. Show us what you got. Samdai Young's also got an auto shotgun. He's spamming okay. away, but there's Waro on the orb for the first. Ooh. Dink onto ZTR, but not the killing blow. Waro's paranoid about mid. I don't think there's time to be paranoid about this angle. You can't hold that forever. So as he turns around, he just walks right into ZTR. It is a absolute domination of a first half out of them. Fair enough. I mean, I didn't have any faith left in Monty on Vertigo, if I'm honest. I think, yeah, you have to just look ahead if you're Monty here. I would say it's more of a case of trying to feel like you're warming into the game at all is, is, is sure. more important here for the Monty squad. Metasport, if they win the pistol, they win this map. We go to Mirage, a map that is good for them, a map that they've got a lot of reps in on. It's Monty's pick in the series. Adam B hears the footsteps and he is out of there. Calling for these rotates. Nothing left to the imagination here from Monty. They are up the ramp. Ooh. And now into the site. USPs, they can let you down. And Monty get that plant with a lot of control in the post as well. Running through into an enemy. Lean, he's a good. I like what I've seen from this guy in the few rounds that Monty have had to show for in this whole map it's going to go even further into the smoke they can hunt a little bit here it shouldn't be winnable for met uh, metas port and ztr just fighting for survival right now in the smoke they'll hunt him three rounds for monty the start of something Sustroming. i hope not I, I don't imagine that would help the concentration they don't look like they're gagging so Probably not. Oh, nice nade. Oh. oh, great nade. ZTR, clean util there. And he's even gonna go ahead and start to aggress down through the short side. Monty are all grouped at the top of the ramp and they are kind of boxed in here. So that's more full sending this into the hold, into oh, the aggro, oh. but here's that backstab. Ooh. Demko with a turnaround brings it back to a level playing field here, a 1v1. As Monty look to chain together three in a row, he's going to go all the way back. Use this silence. Hope that he's given any sort of cue as to where this last man is. The key here is just the longer he waits, the more sus has to consider that maybe he's gone up ladder. Maybe I'm being flanked mid and he'll have to reposition. He can't stay here forever. Demko hoping he'll push in, gather some info, but Sus just playing confident, just holding and hoping Demko will recommit to A. Dude, I, if he just... Oh. oh, did that make noise? I, don't know. I was talking as it yeah, happened. I'm not sure, actually. Doesn't look like it did. No, Sus was walking away. But he's come back. He's come back. He's really stuck to his guns yeah, on this one. It. Like, Sus deserves all the credit if he wins this round, which he's in a great state to do. Demka, the last thing you're expecting is for him to still be hanging around. The Molly 
Well, stop that peak at least, and it lands the tag as well. So both players now have the info to play with. It's oh. going to come down to the raw. Crazy. 400 already? He's got the lineups for everything, man. It's always good with you, see this guy. Oh, doesn't get out. Oh, the, the orb went flying off the map. Yeah. That's actually a disaster. That was <laughs> like the one it. way you maybe could have uh, made this exciting was getting your hands back on that. Still a rifle. I mean, don't count Metis 4 out of this round, but Monty has been very good at these kind of scenarios. Demka doesn't want to cycle guns right now. He's too busy there's, going back to A. There's the util damage comparison. They double nades come out of Monty there. They did eight damage with them. <laughs> that was ZTR with one nade. He would have done 400. Um, That's that all. Adam, right place, right time with the nades. Adam on and the eve of the one. A play, yeah, more util comes down. This A site far from being an Eden for Monty as they move in for the plant. Lots of damage done through the smoke. I feel like they were destined for that kill, but... Oh, they even check it again. Lean gets away with his frag. Adam can't connect a kill. He finally does through the smoke. They don't have a kit in this round. Oh, made it very deep over on oh. short and sus, but they weren't ready for that. They weren't ready for him so deep in. Suddenly, Waro's got to do this alone. Oh, the molly burns out sus, but there's still time here to slightly wider plant as Adam gets on it. He's got it. He should. And so they steal this away. Yeah. A low econ. He's literally beating himself up over how these last few rounds have gone. Sunday oh. Young tries just an all-in aggressive play up through the ramp, and I mean, this is too easy for Metasport at this point. They didn't really have a lot to go off of in this round. For Waro and Krasnow, it's just a late walk up in a B, and at least they've got room here if you want to look for silver linings. But for how much longer, Metasport already dropping in. They catch a good timing on Sus, but they hear him dropping in, so they knew that he was going to reposition onto the generator. Krasnow is trying to take some liberties here. Oh. And now he sees himself up close, nice. up personal, deals with Nilo on that rotate in. They lose lean in the meantime. That's all the way over at a ramp, but that at least slows this retake down for a moment. Oro's holding for a flank that's never going to arrive, and it'll be down to him to clutch if Krasnow doesn't go huge here. There's still flashbangs. I hope Warren can offer one of these up from the T-Stairs. He's locked that out now, but oh. Krasnow turning from it gets him killed. And so now Waro 1v3 to try and keep the dream alive for Monty. One kill found. They're not on the bomb yet. They will get on it now. And Metasport close out Vertigo dominantly. They put a stop to the mini comeback of Monty. And now they look to tie by Metasport. And if it does, Monty's time in the sun is over, and Metasport would be 1B03 away from London. It would be a go, but considering they have an uh, academy player and Subda Young, who's officially exited the roster, it does feel like it's lining up for Metasport right now. A win v Falcons, and then a win v Monty. That's the goal here. But their hardest foe may still remain. Spirit Big is our last game of the day, brought to you by Scrawny and Launders, but... Got to see who takes this one first. Con Smoke gets players close to the A site here. Monty, I like this split right now. They've got great positions, but Metasport still remain with three CTs at A. Oh, not a bad way for it to start. Demka dead. Oh, they're going back. They got the beat. They want to try and change this, right? Yeah, yeah. on the back of that success out of Waro. Sam Young finds another in the meantime. Still, Suspo waits up in the apartments, and they look to move in past him, but gonna rely on that backstab from Krasnow, and it works out wonders. It's a good shot, but this is a very hard round for Metasport, and the swing is ready. If Waro wants it, they might just back walk in. Julie's left up, Nilo, Nilo even in a 1v3, and their group, they can swing on a timer the one on the clock okay what's he got oh a double swung and that will seal his fate and so a pistol this is cs2 you can only hit people three times the fourth bullet always disappears <laughs> all right 2k now with the orb now in top mid boosted up doesn't get given a fight 
Oh, he knows he has a pretty good timing around that, but isn't able to get there in time. Going to try to blow this open. And now he goes peeking through it, but nothing offered, nothing gained. Still mid control taken for Monty. They're just abusing B right now, and they're going to keep doing it. Someday on check spawn, but he's taking that bomb to apartments. And right now, Giacchino has not been able to stop it. He's got the orb here. Oh, he sees that. What? Doesn't connect. Just a little bit too far. That's now realizing, oh, maybe I'm a bit too big for my boots. Have to give it up. And Giacchino with a deep smoke. But yeah, this B-site has been a problem for Metasport. And Monty will just recommit late. Oh, I like this from Waro. He's keeping them paranoid about the connector, and he's going to go play in these smokes. That at least keeps the attention over towards A. Util exchanged in the apartments, and a player spotted emerging up through the short side. Monty have got 20 seconds, and they're running back with the bomb. Ooh, this Ooh. is one of the options that were available. No Adam. one thought they would pick it. But they have. They've got to get past Adam. Doesn't go well at first. Oh. Doesn't go well the second. And he's even able to get himself tucked in. There just isn't time for Monty here. Back turn for Waro. And Sumdai Young is left combat saving this AK. So that's how Metas... And Nades open the top mid smoke. He's nothing through it. Waro, different starting point in this one. Oh, no, actually, he's right here in top mid. My bad. Gonna try and get out now with Sumdai Young moving in through lower. Good damage found on the Sumdai Young early, but there's Waro chomping at the bit to get involved again. Elo knocked out of the round now. And so with all this space over in mid, Monty is starting to creep on through, taking some liberties as lean. As he's made it all the way up to the bench, he just hears this jump check out from CT. He knows what Adam's doing, but he gets the spot off. And so Lean's advanced position is locked out. A little awkward now. That bomb was moving back over. They were kind of hinging a lot of this round on Lean finding some success. Now they essentially have to get out ramp all over again. Palace players feeling awkward to make the first move. They don't know he's here. Oh, turned away. They saw an AK back in spawn, but Adam pushes ahead and takes off to Demka up in Palace with a trade. But that bomb is lost in the source. Lurk kill is nice, but Waro is not safe yet. And still there's a lot more left to do here. Giacchino moves up through the short side, holds this one close. Here's Waro dropped down, but a missed oh. shot from that AWP. And now it's down to this 1v2. ZTR deals okay. with Demka, but is he ready? As Waro is now armed with his weapon of choice over at short. ZTR's looking for Util, Winnable. hoping he can find a smoke. Gonna have to stick this one wide. Waro can see the wires, oh! but he won't get there in time. And ZTR takes that one right. Incredible recovery after a down period that we didn't see him competing at a high level. And he's looked really good in this team and in this tournament. Very fast on the orb dependable, clutch, everything you'd want out of an AWP player. Oh, Kras now, he's holding you, bud. Oh, the spam, oh, full, 100 to zero off of a spam. Now, Giacchino has died, that's something. Hey, oh! <laughs> <laughs> they had him. That's crazy from Demka. Oh, I really hope we get to see that from his POV. It was kind of nice seeing how crazy that shot was from Adams. Warrior almost blocked that smoke, but he dodged it, and it gets him into jungle. Silence here in the audio jungle. Look at this rotation as well. Warrior has to flank here. I'd love to see them stop on the B here. Waro must be calling. He has so much room. Either the bomb go back or let Waro flank the A play. Some Dayong can't play first. He's been spotted. It's kept to Ooh. a B. 
It just takes a lot of time. The, the thing that's concerning, back. right, is that Nilan's kind of threaded the needle here to get back into the window oh, room. Bait, and so now, bait. yeah, 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 now Waro, okay, okay, okay. This is how they're teeing him up. They feign the footsteps. They get him a bit more room to maneuver in through the back lines. He's going to go clear out B, but both players for Metasport are over at short, so this isn't going to be as free as he would hope. Maybe he catches oh! this man, but Nilo's too quick. And so now it's back into the stack for Monty. ZTR and Nilo deliver to close that round. Six in a row for Metasport. That is up cat. And now they're starting to just throw themselves into middle. Sus doubles up. A lot of damage and Adam's here to help. This is the end of the half and it's ending with a whimper for Monty. That five round streak. Now seven for Metas if they can close a four on one. Yeah, I mean, this is a real nice statement for Metas, Paul, right? Even though the, the Monty thought they had them right where they wanted them. They had them on the back foot. They were doing everything right. It felt like you were getting a great game out of Waro 2K, who was 8-1 at one point, let's remember. And now it all goes silent. And Metasport show, Monty, well, anything you can do, we can do better. Your five in a row pales in comparison to the seven in a row that, Mon uh, that Metasport have put forward versus a lot of full buys in there as well. It's not like they got loads of freebies here. Just Demka left in it. And while he's got a 1v1 open over towards B, ZTR's on a nice angle for this. Demka's so paranoid about this short player that all this time taken has bought a second man back over towards the B site now. Doesn't look like he'll even be needed as ZTR lies in way. He'll close it out. Seven rounds in a row for me. From somewhere else. Looking at Demka. Looking at Sumdai Young. Lean down there. Two and ten. Having a bit of a rough go at it here in the second map when the pressure is really on. Metas poor fast B play. And they deal with those duelies straight away. Lean offers up some resistance, but it's just the one kill. And here come the rotates for Monty. As trades go back and forth, it's left in a 2v2. Unbelievable. They trade every single kill in the site. And now it's Susp. 1v2, but they've gotten out the market already, and they're crossing back into the bomb site. Julie's are so hard to put down. Bomb's not planted for this. It's a dangerous reposition. They've spotted him. They can put the pressure on. Quick tap. No kit. He won't bite. He won't fall for it. Forcing a full 10-second stick. Susp is on the clock. He's got to move quick. They're already halfway on the bomb. Can he find the headshot? It's oh, oh! Sus! Sickening. Finds the clutch in the nick of expectations put aside and Metasport have exceeded all of them of course a strong grenade no surprise from the Swedes clinical util all day and they're ready for this push in the top mid they're prepared for it Pass down towards the catwalk, Giacchino. Oh, oh Demka with the deagle. There's another from him. And Demka's deag might be the redemption for Monty. It might be the way back in. It's saved, cobbled together round. It might happen still. Adam left up in this one. He's had some great moments here on Mirage, but now he's got to add a 1v2 to the tally. Bomb picked up as Demka concedes middle. Moro's backstab won't find a thing, but Demka is hot on the heels yeah. through the apartments. Last place you're ever checking. Three kills from the Deagle already, and he's looking for the fourth to bring Monty back in, but caught looking the wrong way. Good read from Adam on that reposition. They never saw Waro. They don't know where this guy is. Guns to pick up. It's rifle re rifle in the 1v1, and Adam repositions onto the bench, gets oh. the spot, gets the tap, and locks in that 1v2. On the edge of the grand final now, pushing up top mid, SDY, and Susp in the smoke. Unknown about it to be here, an explosion. Krasnow alone at the back of the bench, not for long. Susp hears the rotations and he cuts them down in his stride. Three on one now, blinking, you miss it. It's 13 straight from Metasport and they go through to face the final foe.